Hello, once again, everybody who's coming in, if you want, you can take a moment to introduce yourself in the chat. You can put your first name and the city that you're logging in from. Um, and if you'd let us know what the career field is that you're most interested in, that would be awesome. And make sure that you are chatting to everyone. I believe that the Zoom webinar, they might have changed their their chat settings recently. So if you're chatting to everyone, if that's an option, that would be the best. So everyone can kind of see who you are, where you're coming from and what you're interested in. And we'll get started in just like a minute or two. All right, see some chats coming in. That's awesome. Hmm. Seeing more and more attendees coming in. That's great. Hello and welcome. If you just joined in the last two hmm. seconds, um, we're going to start in just a minute. You can introduce yourself in the chat, say hello, tell us your name, where you're from what you're interested in and just make sure that you're chatting to everybody. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm not seeing too many more people pop in, but if somebody comes late, that's okay. Um, hello, and uh, formally welcome to the uh, Digital Career Certificates presentation um, in partnership with Pastream. Today, um, we're going to introduce the different people that you're going to be hearing from. We're going to talk a little bit more about what Pastream is. We're going to do an overview of all the certificates that we offer, all the programs that you might be interested in. Going to show you a little bit what our platform looks like, and then we will have time for a Q&A as well. Um, keep in mind that you, you, know, you might have questions that pop into your mind as we're going through this uh, presentation. You'll notice that there's a Q&A feature in your Zoom, so make sure that any questions you have, you're putting in that Q&A. Um, the chat is, is something that we're just kind of using to say hello, make introductions. So any questions that you definitely want to get answered by one of us today, just make sure you populate it in that Q&A button. Um, and so I wanted to first, before we introduce the folks on the past room side, just pass it over to Mary for a moment, who's a digital marketing instructor over at Emory. Thank you. Um, I am Mary Zimnick, and I just... Um recently celebrated my 17th year anniversary teaching in the department. It's unbelievable. Um, I've taught uh, um, advanced topics in graphic design and web design and digital marketing. And um, all the while I've been working in the industry like all of our educators do. Um, and I am a generalist in communications. And so I'm a writer and designer and a strategist and which I think is a wonderful thing for my students. I've seen it and from all of us in our department, we, we bring what we do in the industry into the classroom. And I think that's made a really huge difference for um, our students' success. So thank you, Anthony. Yeah, it's, 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 great, to, it's great to hear from you. And um, my name's Anthony. Um, I, I work over at Pastream. I'm the lead on the Salesforce certificate and um, I'll be going through kind of the general points in this presentation today, and then telling you a little bit more about Salesforce when we get to our programs. Um, you'll also be hearing from our different uh, program leads today who include Naomi Baker. You'll hear from her when we get to the Asana Project Management Certificate. She's the lead on that one. You'll hear from Angie Rojas, who's the uh, lead on our Data Tableau Certificate. You'll hear from Nina Sloat, who is our lead for the Facebook Digital Marketing Certificate. And so you'll hear a little bit more from all of them later, um, but let's just go ahead and jump right in. And I, I'm hoping to pass it back to, 
to Mary for a moment, just so you can talk a little bit about why Emory partnered with Pastream in the first place to offer these programs and certificates. Well, um, this is very exciting for me. <laughs> I've always been an advocate of online education and I've been teaching online for many years. And so, you know, when we were all kind of forced in some ways into this in education and we've experienced so many changes, this was, this was such a welcome opportunity for us. Um, you know, Emory, has been uh, ECE, Emory Continuing Ed, has been delivering for 70 years uh, extraordinary programs um, in the non-credit division for Emory uh, in our general region in the greater Atlanta area. And um, partnering with Pastoring has done an awful lot for us. It has enabled us um, to build on our storied experience of those seven decades and expand to what we're doing now with these programs with self-paced um, online curriculum that um, focuses on the very latest digital skills demanded in the workforce, which is really exciting. It combines the talents of what I think of our, our expert educators um, with the curriculum developed by masters in the industry, um, including Asana and Salesforce and Tableau and others. Um, we, alongside these powerhouses, um, we're able to deliver a very exciting curriculum that's very real time, that is constantly updated. And I mean, I've experienced this with my students so far, how exciting it has been for them. Um, it gives Emory certificates a new edge, I believe this partnership has. We are able to go beyond um, our classroom that we have, you know, for 17 years, I've been working on in the classroom and then started working online and we're, we're going even farther. I mean, already I've had students from um, other states, uh, from, from across the nation, from other countries. And this is very exciting because we're able to deliver what is, I believe, world-class um, education opportunities from Emory with this, what I consider sort of a B12 injection from these powerhouse technology partners in pastoring. And that's, that's been really um, extraordinary for my students. I've watched it. It, it gives us this, um, this partnership gives us this, the benefit of the educational brain trust that is pastoring that I have experienced. We have this wonderful company as our partner that is so strong in preparing students for um, these, these very specific digital skill careers in a way that uh, is, is, is beyond what we've been able to do. And, um, but it allows us to stay and continue doing our very, very typical high quality student-centered experience for our students, which, which makes me very proud of what we're doing right now. Um, we're, we're very excited by this, this innovative blended curricula. I am as not only as an instructor, but as a curriculum developer, this has been a really wonderful experience for me to be able to, to benefit by this very, very powerful um, curriculum and the, the mechanism for that delivery with what we're able to, to add to that for individual students. So as a result, this is a almost a custom program. You know, we not only do do adults have very complex lives and have to find a way to fit the the learning process into their lives, which this affords more than I've ever experienced, but it also gives us the ability to as an educator and as an institution the ability to really work individually with students, which has been a really lovely surprise for me. And and with this partnership, we're able to do much more with career services than we've ever been able to do. And I've watched this in practice. I have had students in the middle of the first course uh, go out and bravely get jobs and interview for them. I just was talking to one of my students today who is just graduating from the program, who just has gone through her fourth interview. She's gotten all the way up to the CEO with an interview and she is just so pumped up. And when she first started, she was so lacking in confidence. And so, you know, it, clearly this is working in a way that is very practical and very effective. And it's 
and it's supplying for my students what they had hoped for, but I would argue a little bit beyond. So I would say this partnership has been very exciting. And as an educator, you know, from my perspective, it's doing what it needs to do. Thank you. Well, that's that's an amazing um, summation, Mary. I mean, I think the yeah the the excitement that you're that you're feeling we really share when we you know see students kind of successfully go through a program and get those interviews and wind up getting a job like that's what fills us with the most energy too. So to to sense that from you and to hear the excitement in your voice is just awesome to hear. So thank you so much for that. Um, you know, for for explaining that and talking about that and. And now we can we can talk a little bit more about um, the details. I mean, she just did such a great job kind of summing up what we do and what we're about. Um, and I think probably most of the folks that are here today have bought into this idea that, you know, the 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 employment landscape out there is changing quite a bit. There are these super important digital skills that people need in order to be competitive in those job markets. And we have these um, certificates that we feel are representative of the most important digital skills that are out there. And so you can see we have a digital marketing certificate, as we've already mentioned, the Tableau Data Analytics Certificate, the Salesforce Administrator Career Certificate, and the Asana Project Management Certificate. Um, also, I, I, I hope this, is, this has come across, but if anybody is still a little bit curious, um, we are an online learning platform. Um, we are super focused on the actual digital skills that we're trying to teach and the tools that are involved in, in demonstrating those digital skills in the workplace. And so everything is really project-based and those projects mirror the kind of tasks that you would be doing on the job in the real world. And even though it's, um, it is asynchronous, meaning you can take these online um, lessons and labs whenever works best for you, but you do still have access to an instructor and you do get personalized feedback on all of your projects. Um, and uh, you learn how to improve as you take a different uh, course. Um, we do really feel like at the end of your certificate, which is three courses, you will be job ready. So you, um, like I said, you'll be practicing those real world skills. You'll be doing the same things that you would be doing on the job. So you'll be getting prepared in that regard. And then you'll earn a certificate um, from Emory Continuing Education, which looks great on the resume. And we do offer uh, career services once you finish a certificate. And so we, we do offer career coaching and we try to help each, each and every one of our graduates um, take the necessary steps to actually land a job after they finish their program. Um, a little bit more about past dream career services. Um, it's uh, it's really something that um, we we offer kind of snippets of throughout the first couple courses, but really during the final course is when we really start to ramp up these career services. And so they include things like getting your resume reviewed and providing detailed feedback on how to on how to change it to really stand out to recruiters. Same thing with your LinkedIn profile. Um, we offer networking support and opportunities. Um, we have referrals to employers. Um, we can do mock interviews to get people ready for, uh, ready for any interview they might face. And um, we provide a lot of supplementary content on how to get freelance opportunities and build up your portfolio so that you're looking, um, you're in really good shape. Um, so just uh, some of the details that you all might be curious about. Um, each certificate is three courses, which spans from about 18 to 21 total weeks. Um, as I mentioned, it is self-paced. And so you're able to kind of take these, uh, these courses kind of at your own speed and, and at your leisure and, and when makes the most sense for you to be tackling the material. But we do have the instructor support. So you can reach out um, via email. You can set up time to, to chat with your instructor you're going to get your project support and you're going to get feedback on all of your work. So you're going to learn, you know, where maybe you're making mistakes and, and how to improve as you go. And then, yeah, once again, you do get that really nice looking certificate when you finish that has um, Emory Continuing Education featured prominently on it. Um, there's just some, if you wanted to, to take a moment to read some testimonials from, from other students, um, we put them up here for you. 
I think um, one of the things that we're uh, most proud about as uh, is one of these final comments that says there's no fat, it's all meat, meaning we don't try to waste time with like theoretical information. We try to get just straight to um, the nuts and bolts of how to actually use these different software, how to practice these digital skills and how to actually demonstrate them with, with projects. And so again, like our entire goal here is for somebody to go through one of these programs um, to learn as much as they can about the digital tool that they're, that they're studying and then to actually get a job. That's how we measure success. And so with that, I, I think it's time we can jump into a little bit more detail for each one of these certificates so that you can learn more about them and figure out which one might um, fit your needs the best. So we'll pass it over to Angie, who can talk a little bit more about the Tableau Data Analytics Certificate. Thanks, Anthony. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Angie, and I also work at PathStream focused on the the delivery of the Tableau Data Analytics Certificate. So I'm really a point person for all things Tableau, all things data analytics moving forward. Um, so what exactly is the Tableau Data Analytics Certificate? Well, to start off, the program was built in collaboration with Tableau. And Tableau really is an interactive data visualization software company. And it is currently one of the most powerful data visualization softwares in the analytics industry, which makes this certificate's alignment with preparing learners for real analytics roles extra exciting and more hands-on. Anthony, can you? Thank you. Um, so as mentioned previously, we've partnered with Tableau um, because they're committed to increasing education on data analytics and how to use their platform. So you'll learn these skills and get to practice using the tool for free. The content itself is hosted online using PathStream's custom learning platform, where you will use the tools such as Tableau, SQL, and spreadsheet software. So the image you see here and images of labs you see sprinkled throughout the deck are actual glimpses of the tools you'd see in your real labs on the platform. Um, for example, this is a Tableau desktop lab you'd be able to jump right into practicing with PathStream's platform. Everything from the examples in the lesson to the projects and the courses are based in real in the job scenarios. We're always trying to simulate the real analyst experience, almost like a two-in-one. After you've completed a course, your projects can be used to build a portfolio to showcase those skills to future um, employers. So here you'll see an example of the learning outcomes. And I won't go through each of them, but essentially um, there are three courses in the certificate, Business Analytics Fundamentals, SQL for Analytics, and Data Visualization Foundations. The main theme in the first course is spreadsheets and exploratory data analysis. The main theme in SQL for Analytics is MySQL, MySQL Workbench, and being able to write queries, both DDL and DML queries, which you will learn all about um, in the course. And then the main theme for the third course, Data Visualization Foundations, is Tableau Desktop and um, Data Visualization with Tableau Desktop. So, yeah. Next slide, Tim. Um, I don't know what, oh, there we go. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the specific careers that this program, program is going to prepare you for. Um, this program is geared towards preparing you for data analyst or business analyst roles, but it essentially teaches you all the foundational skills and tools necessary for any type of analyst role, such as a product analyst, marketing analyst, healthcare analyst, et cetera. Um, we do have a lot of different types of students coming into this program that might be pursuing different things. So for example, you might be pursuing an entry-level job or an internship, or maybe you're coming in with no experience and starting from the beginning and career changing. You might be in a career that already uses analytics in some way, and this could be a great program to help you upskill in your current role and get you a promotion or take on some more additional skills. Additionally, we also prepare you for industry certificate exams separate from PadStream offered by Tableau itself by taking our courses. 
Um, and this is a Tableau desktop specialist and Tableau desktop certified associate exam. So this type of Tableau desktop certification can catch the eyes of hiring managers and can open the doors to many roles you're interested in. So what's really great to know as you're considering the program is that the field of data analytics keeps growing. So there have been 1 million job postings for analyst roles in the last 12 months and 30% growth in jobs requiring Tableau in the next decade. Essentially, data is everywhere and companies need to interpret and share that data. Um, you would be the people to do so. So I want to mention two things. This program doesn't just teach Tableau, it teaches SQL, spreadsheets, um, and all the conceptual concepts associated with how to interpret and manipulate that data. Um, so exploratory data analysis and some of the statistics associated with that. Also, this program, program isn't just for data analysts. So many roles today are using analytic skills and you don't have to necessarily have a data analyst title to be manipulating data. So if you're a project manager, digital marketer, or on a customer success team, there's still a lot of value in this skill because it is applicable to so many different industries. And I believe now, I, yep, now I'll pass it over to Anthony to go over the Salesforce Administrator Career Certificate. Thanks, Angie. That was a that was a great a great summation of of your cert. And um, you know, folks have questions later about um, the Tableau Data Analytics uh, certificate um, in particular. Just put those in the Q and A, and Angie can pop back in and, and answer any more specific questions that you have about that. Um, yeah, I, I'm happy to talk more about our Salesforce Administrator Career Certificate now. So this is um, a program that we built in collaboration with Trailhead, which is Salesforce's official learning platform um, to prepare students out there who are looking to get jobs that are involving Salesforce. Um, for those who, who might not know, Salesforce is by far the most popular customer relationship management platform. It's growing um, a ton and we are seeing that there are more and more jobs every day that are offered that need people with Salesforce skills. Um, as I think it has now maybe become a clear theme, you know, we don't, um, we don't just do academic stuff over here at Pastream. We try to get you to be working hands on with the software. And so when you take the Salesforce cert, you're working with Salesforce, um, occasionally Google Sheets as well, and you're completing um, projects that actually have you using those different softwares and completing real world skills. Um, a, a lot of people ask about the Salesforce um, certificate, you know, do I actually need to have a background in Salesforce um, to, to take this certificate? And the answer is no, we, we really built this um, to be designed for total beginners who are who are at, you know, kind of the, the ground level with Salesforce. And we have our first course to really teach folks the fundamentals of Salesforce so that we can get into the more advanced ideas in courses two and course three. Um, so if you're a total beginner, that's that's more than all right. Course one will get you prepared. Course two, we start to get a little bit more complex and, and introduce you to the different skills that you would need as a Salesforce administrator. And then course three is where we really get into advanced topics um, that not only prepare you to work on the job as a Salesforce admin, but get you ready for the official Salesforce admin exam certification, if that's something that you're interested in as well. Um, there are a number of different jobs that we've seen our graduates be competitive for who have finished um, our Salesforce program. One of them is that Salesforce administrator role that I've mentioned a couple of times, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that role in just a second. But we have seen students um, be interested and, and get considered and, and have successful outcomes with sales representative roles, um, sales operations specialist roles. Salesforce business analyst role. So really after taking this certificate, we feel like um, students can pursue an entry level job or internship in the field of, of CRM or Salesforce in general. Um, as Angie was mentioning, I think similar to in the Salesforce cert, we've seen students kind of flex in their current jobs and start to take on more Salesforce responsibility. And um, again, there's that official certified Salesforce administrator exam um, that's we prepare students for if that's something that appeals to you. 
So what is a Salesforce administrator? Well, um, for those of you who maybe have dabbled in Salesforce before, probably you've seen how massive the software is and just how many things there are that you can actually accomplish with it. And so a, what a Salesforce administrator does for an organization is they customize Salesforce and all the different tools and features to suit a particular company or organization. So if you're a big problem solver, if you love to get into the nuts and bolts of a software and figure out how different things work and how they can be customized for different users, that's probably a job that you'll be really, really interested in pursuing. Um, since Salesforce is so big, we've seen that, you know, not only Salesforce administrators, but People with Salesforce experience, whether that's a sales operations specialist or a Salesforce business analyst, are really needed in pretty much every industry these days. To give you context, Salesforce really envisions that Microsoft is their biggest competitor. And so you could imagine all the different businesses and places that Microsoft is in today. Well, think about all the different places and businesses and industries that Salesforce is going to be in not only tomorrow, but starting now because they're growing so incredibly quickly. So chances are, if you have a, an industry that you're passionate about, there's an open Salesforce position for you to apply to. Um, the data has, has told us that there are millions of jobs that are being created in the next year that involve uh, Salesforce and administrator roles. And so we're seeing um, similar to all the digital skills that we'll talk about today, a lot of growth in that area. And with that, I will pass it on to Naomi, who can talk a little bit more about the Asana Project Management Career Certificate. Thank you, Anthony. Salesforce Certificate is very popular and um, really great to hear an overview about it. Um, so I'm here to talk to you about project management. And similar to Salesforce, it's a great field to get into just because it is so versatile. Um, you know, any, any, all industries, sports, technology, education, need project manager. So it is very versatile and useful thing to pursue. Um, and another thing I love about project management is that you probably already have experience in project management. Um, maybe you've planned a party or you've done a project uh, at work or school. Um, so in terms of what the certificate is, the certificate really prepares you for a career in project management. Um, and it prepares you in three ways. The first way is that it teaches you how to use Asana, which you can see on the slide. Here are a few pictures of what Asana looks like. I'm sure some of you have heard of it and possibly even used it. It's very um, easy to use and it's really popular as well. It's used by over 50,000 organizations and a lot of students say it's quite fun to use. Um, and we have partnered with Asana to create uh, these courses for you. And um, these courses really prepare you those critical skills that are going to be used in a lot of different organizations. Um, a lot of different organizations use software like Asana. Um, so it really gives you those skills that you're going to be able to apply in a job. Um, the second way, the second way that this certificate prepares you is it prepares you to use this to take the CAPM exam. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But the CAPM exam stands for Certified Associate in Project Management. Um, and it is run through the Project Management Institute. Um, and finally, the certificate prepares you by giving you practice in real world tasks that you'll be expected to do as a project manager. So, um, you know, you're gonna be completing projects that are based on real on the job scenarios and you can use these projects to showcase to your employers. Um, wanted to point out here that in addition to teaching Asana, we also teach Google Sheets. Um, we've worked with a lot of subject matter experts who say, um, they still use Google Sheets. It's a really important part of project management. So if you're not comfortable with Google Sheets yet, um, this is a great opportunity to learn it. Here's a little overview of the courses. So there's three different courses. The first is a foundational course and really talks about foundational topics such as uh, working with stakeholders, um, learning what scope is, what's in and out of scope. Um, and it also teaches you uh, how to prepare some really important foundational documents such as the project charter, the scope statement, and the work breakdown structure. Um, course two is very focused on planning. It's called effective project planning. It's very hands-on. You're going to learn how to create a project schedule, create a budget, create a communication plan, and you will learn all about different types of meetings and um, even develop some project kickoff activities. 
Finally, the third course is risk quality integration management. You're getting into some more complex topics um, and you'll be doing things like identifying project risks, updating project plans and communicating those changes to stakeholders. And you'll also be getting into some more advanced Asana topics. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the career outlook. So the course prepares you for roles such as project manager and project coordinator. However, as you can imagine, project management skills are very applicable to many, many roles. Um, so it does prepare you um, for other roles, not just these roles. And um, we've seen students go on to pursue entry level jobs and get those jobs and also apply for internships in the field of project management. Um, we've also seen people stay in their current job and use their new skill set in their current job. And some of our students have um, gotten promotions based off completing the certificate. And finally, quite a lot of our students have gone on to take the certified associate in project management exam, which is offered by the Project Management Institute. And um, wanted to just mention that this exam is a very well regarded exam and it's a great signal to employers that you're serious about project management, you know all the terminology um, and we've seen students be very successful in getting jobs after taking this exam. Um, is a growing industry, 2.8 million jobs posted in the last 12 months and a 40% growth in jobs requiring project management skills in the last five years. Um, so that is about the project management certificate. And I believe we are handing it over to Nina who's gonna talk about the digital marketing certificate. Thanks, Naomi. Um, hi, I'm Nina. I'm uh, the, the lead for the marketing certificate and excited to talk to you um, as these folks have done about um, what you'll learn and get out of in this cert. Um, so as a brief overview, this uh, certificate was built alongside subject matter experts from a variety of industries and types of companies to ensure that we have a really well-rounded curriculum um, that will prepare you for a variety of types of roles. Um, and uh, some of the tools that we focus on in um, this certificate are Google Analytics, Google Sheets, um, Facebook Ads Manager. We chose these tools because A, they're very um, well-regarded and often used in entry-level digital marketing roles. Um, and if it's not these exact tools, you would likely use an analogous tool um, to them. So it's a great signal to employers um, if you have you know, a, a skill set that includes these tools. Um, as a few example learning outcomes you can skim through, um, I'll just kind of give a brief overview of the three courses in the certificate. Um, the first course gives you a background in um, foundations and strategy of marketing. So we dive into kind of some business fundamentals um, as well as um, kind of setting you up to develop a, a marketing campaign, which is your final project. Um, and then with that, background, you'll in course two, you'll dive into analytics. So the big questions to answer there being, um, how do you know if a campaign is successful? And what should you do to change it? Um, so you'll dive into Google Sheets and really be analyzing campaigns to know if they're successful. Um, the third course, social media marketing, really nicely ties all that learning together um, as you're developing social media campaigns. Um, you'll actually create ads and posts for a variety of social media channels um, and then analyze them using your skills from course two. Um, as a career outlook in general, uh, you can expect to be prepared for entry level digital marketing roles. Um, some roles that students have gotten after completing this cert include a digital marketing coordinator and marketing specialist. Um, if you've explored um, marketing roles at all, you know that they have lots of different titles. So those are two common ones um, that we see. Um, but more generally, you can expect to pursue an entry level job or internship um, and, or pursue a promotion if you're already in that space. Uh, something that's really cool about this certificate is that folks who are entrepreneurs or started their own companies um, we also see applying their skills to their own companies. So that's a really, I think, neat part of the cert as well. 
Um, in terms of what the data says about job availability, we see uh, 300,000 job postings for digital marketing roles in the last 12 months. They're definitely available. Um, there's been a 20% growth in jobs requiring digital marketing skills in the last five years. Um, and then we know that marketing expenditure is only going more and more towards digital marketing um, with 50% of all that expenditure now. And I'll pass it back to Anthony. Thank you so much, Nina. Um, and thank you so much, Naomi, as well. Those were both um, great summaries of, of those respective programs. And yeah, I see some questions in the Q&A. So feel free to keep putting questions in the Q&A if you had more specific questions about any of the certificates that you just heard about. But in the meantime, um, I wanted to show a little bit of the platform because that's why you're all here to see how this thing actually works. So. What um, I have here, let me go back actually a little bit, one screen to the course overview, fantastic. So I am right now, I am looking at this as a student would see it. And this is the, um, the first course of the Asana Project Management Certificate. Although every course is gonna have a similar like user experience and user layout. So this is really like indicative of whatever program you wind up taking. And you can see here that we have different sections here that kind of break down the different concepts and the curriculum. And so if you'll notice that when you click on one of them, that different little lessons here pop up. And what's really nice about this is you can see kind of a time estimate about how long each one of these would take. And so we find that this is really helpful for students when they're planning their schedule, like they're trying to decide on a weekly basis, okay, how much time am I gonna need to finish each lesson and each lab and each project? And so a lot of students use these time estimates to just plan ahead so that they can stay on track and make sure that they're finishing everything that they need to finish um, as they are balancing um, school with maybe a job and maybe some other life responsibilities. So you maybe you notice this little kind of beaker icon over here in the introduction to Asana. That means we have labs present. And these labs are kind of hands-on opportunities for you to work with the, uh, the software and practice for the projects. Labs are really nice because they're not graded. And so they're this opportunity for you to kind of learn the skill before you do the project, which has a grade associated with it. So let's take a look. If we click on this, let's see what it looks like. And so, okay, great. We are now on um, an actual page of the curriculum. So you can see that it is a mix of um, text. We have like descriptions here about talking about Asana. We also have images here with call outs. And so we break down the software and give you a nice text resource that you can use to actually see how this software works. We have icons here that break down an example and a case study. And if you keep going down, then we get to our first, what we call a knowledge check. And so these are not graded. This is just an opportunity for you. And we place these kind of throughout the curriculum. It's an opportunity for you to just sort of test, you know, what you, what you learn. And so, Oh man, I, I'm feeling a lot of test anxiety right now, even though this isn't graded. I don't wanna get it wrong. I might get it wrong. I'm sorry, Naomi, if I get it wrong. Oh, I got it wrong. Naomi, please, please forgive me. Um, but you'll see if you get it wrong, it's no big deal in the end because you can see what the answer was and you get an explanation of why this is the case. And so we, we love these knowledge checks and students, students, students tend to really love them too. Um, we also incorporate media here. So you can see we have videos here that talk more about um, the software. We have a nice little recap. If you click this, you get a breakdown of what the video covered. There's another knowledge check here. I, I won't do that at the moment. And then we have little, we have GIFs of the software itself. But what's really cool is when you get down all the way as you see this icon again, which means that there is a lab. And so, when we click launch lab, I'll have to change my screen sharing because this is gonna launch our software. So let me just launch this first and foremost. And then let me see here. Let me, let me make sure that I can share this. Okay. 
And I hope everyone can see this on screen. Okay, great. And so you see that we're ready now to launch this lab. And what's what's awesome about this is this is Asana. This is the software. And so when you take a, our Asana project management cert, you get your own premium account. Um, and then you're actually in the software, working with it, learning how to use it. But what's really great is that you have these instructions over here on the left-hand side, this sidebar that kind of breaks down how you're gonna go through each step. And so it is really hands-on guided learning, but you're actually working with the software and you're actually solving a problem that you would solve as a project manager. And so we're, we're super proud of this, this aspect of our curriculum. We feel like it's the, the thing that differentiates us from other learning experiences. And so, so yeah, happy that you got to see a little bit of that. And let me go back to, let's see really quick. I wanna open it up now for more questions. So um, let's see, let me go ahead and share once again, some FAQs really quick, but you guys can feel free to start to populate once again, your, um, your questions in the Q and A. Let's see, let's go back here. So go ahead guys and feel free to put all of your, any questions that you might have and we can begin to address them. But I wanted to also, um, whoops, sorry, just one moment, slight technical difficulty. Wanted to just show some common FAQs because I know a lot of students have questions around cost. Um, so the total cost for a program is, you can see $3,528, although we do have different payment plans that are at 0% interest. Um, and we do know that a lot of uh, employers, they have reimbursement programs. Um, so that's something that you can reach out to your employer about if you think you're eligible. And um, the time commitment is around 10 to 15 hours per week. Um, and there are no prerequisites except a high school degree or equivalent. So let's start to see some of these questions that have come in. Um, I see Tiona asked, do we have to have a certain laptop for these programs like a Mac or a Chromebook, which is more preferred? This, this is a great question. Um, you can, any, any laptop, if it's a PC or a Mac should work, but those smaller ones like the Chromebooks, Chromebooks are not going to be a good experience for PathStream. So I would say the only one that you can't really use is a Chromebook, but a re another regular PC laptop, um, should be fine. A Mac laptop should be totally fine as well. Okay. Shonda, good question. Is it possible to get a copy of the presentation? So we are going to send out uh, a recording of this. So you will get a recording of this presentation when it's all said and done. Um, this is from anonymous attendee. You may have mentioned this, but can the certificate be completed in less than a lot of time without penalty? For example, if someone is not working and complete a 15 week course in four weeks. So um, the, the whole certificate is about 15 weeks. We, we have each, each course is, takes about five to six weeks. And so if you're asking, can somebody finish a course a little bit faster than that? Of course, there's no penalty for that. Um, and it's totally possible. Um, it's not something that we typically recommend because we want folks to get the most out of their learning and to take their time. And there can be quite a lot of information there. So what we, what we normally find is that not too many students finish early, but sometimes some do. And, and there's of course, no, no penalty to that. Um, and here, it looks like we have a Tableau question. So I'll pass it over to Angie. Angie, would the Tableau certificate program also offer a license similar to Asana project management? Um, yeah, and I think I can actually combine this with the do students have uh, free access to Tableau? I believe that might be a similar question. If not, um, please go clarify. Um, but 
essentially when you are taking the data certificate and you are going through the third course, the data visualization foundations with um, Tableau, you will have access to Tableau desktop through our Pathstream platform. Um, so this is a special license that you will have within the platform itself. Um, and Tableau Desktop isn't normally free, but you will have it with um, this special account. So that's extra exciting. Awesome, thanks for that. Um, so I hope, I, I'm not seeing too many more questions, but we still, we can, we, oh, here we go, good. And, and feel free to keep putting questions into the Q&A. Um, and uh, remember, there are no, there are no bad questions. There are no dumb questions. It's a lot of times your question is probably, you know, 20 other people's questions. So please, if you have anything that you're just like slightly curious about, like, please, by all means, throw your question in the chat. Um, so how soon after the course will the Tableau access expire? Angie, do you happen to know the answer to that? Yeah, so you will have um, Tableau access as long as you are enrolled in the third course. So um, I uh, believe the length of the course, um, we recently just updated it, Anthony, so maybe you can correct me on this, on how long the length of the course is, but- um, Six weeks. Six weeks? Yeah. Um, okay, six weeks for the duration of the course, and then um, we do open up access later for students as well. Um, Anthony, again, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if it's 30 days, is it? 60 days. 60 days, thank you. So 60 days for students. Um, and also if you do join career services, you do get additional access to Tableau Desktop through a specialized course we create specifically for those who have um, career services access. So um, yeah, it depends. You can either have access for it only while you're enrolled in the first program, or you could have extended access um, if you continue through career, service, career services. And that one, um, stays active as long as you're enrolled in career services. Awesome, thanks for that, Angie. This is a great, another great question. When can we enroll? Um, so you can see this, uh, hopefully, can you all see my screen? Okay, great. So you can enroll anytime you want. Enroll right now, if you want. You know, there's, um, there are definitely, um, there, we're, we're, we're ready where there's that email address that's out there. And uh, so if you want, you know, you can send us an email, um, contact our enrollment team. And the deadline is August 20th. So that is the, that's the only thing that you need to keep in mind. The deadline is August 20th. So don't wait if you want to enroll. Thank you for the question. Um, Angela McManus, great question. I see uh, Nina Sloat is typing an answer, but I'm gonna go ahead and just answer it live maybe more quickly. Um, will you be working with, within a cohort or be on a team for projects? Um, so th the answer is, I guess to put, it, to put it simply, the answer is no, you won't be on a team for your projects. However, um, in the data analytics certificate and the Salesforce certificate, we do have, um, collaborative discussion boards where you can engage with other people in your cohort and you can form study groups. And so there is that opportunity for community and working with each other and helping each other there. So I hope that answers that question. Um, can I speak to that for just a yes, second? Yes, please. Yes, Mary, go ahead. Um, I'm the, uh, the digital marketing instructor. And so what we've done with, with this is voluntarily we have a weekly, what we call office hours, um, one hour experience for the students, which is live. We just do it in Zoom like this. And I have, um, I would like to think, very exciting additional lecture that we do or a little discussion that we do in that time. And that augments what, what the curriculum is about because you've heard these brilliant people talk about how on the ground and career focused the curriculum is. And so I have found um, that I'd like to bring in just a little bit more information to supplement that, that does go a little bit into um, 
creative planning and some theory ideas and all, but this is all um, um, voluntary. And I found that I get a, a group of students that show up every week, which is really nice. And we get an opportunity to talk. And one of the things that's come out of that, which is really fun is these students have gotten to know each other in the office hours environment because, you know, otherwise you're working on your own. Um, they're face to face and they get to talk and they have forms and study groups, which has been really cool. And so um, that is an additional opportunity in the digital marketing uh, environment um, that I think has been really, really great. And there was a there was just real quick. There was another question that Nina did a great job of responding to, but it was, a, I think, a question about somebody who has more traditional marketing experience and how this certificate is supportive in the digital marketing arena and probably the other ones as well um, for data and for project management. That my experience is, especially in digital marketing, that you've got a couple of different types of people who come into the programs. You have people who have really strong marketing background. You have people who are complete beginners. You have like these folks is, brilliantly said, you've got people who are looking for an opportunity to, uh, to promote themselves or to start a business or to completely change their career. And there's a place for everybody in this, which is really wonderful. And for those people who have any kind of traditional marketing or public relations or communications experience, this has been really exciting to see even folks who have had sort of high level management experience. I had one particular student who did. She had a very strong background in digital, in, excuse me, in marketing, but had virtually no digital skills. And in through the process of the program, got her back into the workforce in a way that was, that enhanced what she had been doing before. And it just filled in those gaps for her, which was very exciting. So what my experience thus far has been is that students are coming in and they're, they're getting what they need and finding out things that are, are nice little surprises along the way too about themselves and about what they need to, to do to, to make themselves happy in their career or their volunteer work or whatever it is that they're here for. Okay, thanks Anthony. Yo, yeah, but that's, that's, that's awesome. Always, always happy to have your perspective. Um, so I, I see there's a question about um, a department would like to pay for the course up front. I would say the best thing here is just please reach out to the email address that's on screen, emory underscore certificates at pastream.com. Whatever the situation is, we can figure out how to how to best best serve you there. Um, okay, next question. I have been looking at job postings for data analysis and a lot of places require some form of a degree and data analysis experience. Is a degree required on top of the certification for most jobs? Angie, do you think you could speak to this one? Yeah, um, that's a really great question. So I think it like can vary on a couple of things. So um, it can vary on the job. So some like companies are very strict on like, yep, we need um, this degree and we need it, you know, these certain qualifications and they'll be very strict about that. But um, more and more we're seeing, especially through career services, that there is a lot of flexibility and a lot of that can come through like networking, um, kind of like through uh, the way in which you present yourself, through the other skills in which you're able to demonstrate. Um, and one of the things we've seen that is really kind of popping out to a lot of the recruiters and um, letting our students get a lot of interviews is this um, university branded certificate. Um, so like, Emory branded, for example, data analytics um, certificate is, I don't know if it's like bypassing the degree or something like that, but um, it's getting them interviews. It's, uh, I don't know if it's like the equivalent of the degree, but it's allowing them to kind of get their foot through the door um, and getting to the interviews and getting these offers. So um, I think it varies on the job, on the company, on how strict that is, but I don't, I wouldn't say it stops you from being able to get a job or any of that. Thank that. Thanks so much, Angie. And, and one more question that I've seen kind of come up and, and maybe someone's already typed an answer to this. I'm not sure, but I've seen it in the chat as well is, is that is the data analytics certificate? What if you're a total beginner? Can a total beginner be successful? Um, yes, 
Uh, so we have uh, students from all walks of life come into the data analytics certificate. So um, originally the, the data analytics certificate, um, for example, SQL created from scratch, like, or created with someone who has no SQL experience in mind. Um, so if let's say you were a SQL developer, um, you may not be as excited in the beginning because we do start from like, what is a database? Um, and then like select all from, if you don't know what that is, great. If you do know what that is, you might like accelerate through some of the beginning, right? Um, so that's something to keep in mind, but we do go a little bit quicker as we're moving towards it. Um, and keep in mind, like if you've had some experience before, it does kind of help. I've noticed now seeing some trends from talking to students, if they maybe haven't had um, experience with tools, but they have just like some conceptual understanding of like data worker or something like that, that typically helps. But with that being said, we've had people from every kind of industry um, and like all kinds of experience with tools, both having had like SQL, some Tableau, some like Excel experience um, and have come and talked to me about like either this being a very quick experience or like not so quick experience. So I think it definitely varies by, by person. Thanks. That's that's great um, context. Yes, by all means, anyone who needs to go, you can go. You don't have to stay here for the Q and A. This is and we'll provide the recording. This is just for anyone to ask any last questions that they that they might have. I, I see that um, Waverlin. Does Emory have any graduate deg degree programs that will benefit from these uh, certifications? Um, take that I, anything? Yes, please. Okay. So. Um, I, you know, I mean, I've been doing this for 17 years working in these certificate programs for Emory. And so I, I mean, I've had thousands of graduates that I have stayed, many of which that I've stayed in contact with as they pursued their opportunities, whether it's businesses or promotions or new careers. And the interesting thing about um, certificates and um, uh, traditional academic uh, degrees is how well they complement one another. And there was a question earlier about, um, do I need um, like a, you know, some sort of an academic degree to get a job, whether it's in one of these fields, whether it's project management or data or marketing. And I can tell you that the answer was brilliant, but, uh, and, but I'd also like to just add that it, as, as Angela said, it has to do with this, the specific opportunity and the, the specific criteria for the opportunity, obviously, but I can tell you very specifically for marketing that they're, the one of the most important things that you're going to present, I mean, I'm, you know, I've been helping students even recently in their interview process, um, what the most important things that they're bringing in to discuss especially or to showcase is a marketing portfolio. And um, this is something that we spend a lot of time talking about and, um, and working on. And when it comes to how that blends with things like graduate programs at Emory, I can tell you many of the answers uh, already address this, that project management and data are a part of everything now. The whole idea of data uh, analytics is, is a, a business issue as much as it is a marketing is issue, as much as it is an IT issue. So for instance, what we have in Goizueta, where we're doing um, MBAs and, and, um, and business focused um, uh, graduate programs, what we're doing with the humanities programs, what we're doing with um, healthcare, and um, even theology and medicine, all of these things are a piece of this. Now, marketing threads into that because it's essential to communicate to audiences for all of these industries. So how it complements it is going to be specific to what you're pursuing in life. Um, if you're looking to become a VP of something, then probably you're going to need, um, with some rare exceptions, some um, at least um, possibly a master's, it certainly is helpful. But I would say that there's a wonderful, there's always a wonderful complement between what happens in that pure academic education and what happens in, as Anthony and the rest of this panel have been discussing about really focusing on uh, skill sets that are required specifically on the ground. So um, it's one of the reasons why I'm so always so excited in our department, why our educators work in the industry. So, okay.
I think that's what I wanted to say. But yeah, I mean, it's it's an interesting idea to this idea of blending the graduate and the certificate, and there's definitely a place for that. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much for that for that answer, and uh, thank you for all these wonderful questions and this this all this engagement. This has been a really fantastic experience for myself, and I think for all of us. So thank you for everyone who's attending. Just keep in mind that the deadline is August 20th. So if you're interested, don't delay. Uh, definitely sign up and just shoot an email once again to emory underscore certificates at passstream.com if you have any additional questions. Um, but yes, thank you to, to all the panelists. Uh, thank you to all the attendees. And um, we hope to see you in the Passstream family real soon. So have a good one. And bye-bye. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.